Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nara, and today, one second, just wanted to make sure the sound was on. Today, we're playing some more Sims 4. It's super, super nice that we are all in the same house now so that we can all be together. And I know, I, I just, I just, I feel so good about this. Savannah is looking for a new agency. She hasn't received any opportunities in a long while, so I think it's time for her to switch agencies and to, you know what? Cancel. Apparently, we have a gig on a cam. Com com <laughs> I'm gonna cancel it. It's not exactly going as we wanted. I kind of forgot what it was. So in that case, but. I'm gonna hire a new acting agency because we are doing a little better and I feel like we are, we are, you know, we're, we're ready for the next step. So there is one, um, has improved automated reminders, maximize your time spent working. We can have connection with directors and uh, opportunities to extra comfort or we can get this one better negotiated pay for drama and action primetime tv and movie gigs see well suited talent represents only the best who perform their best expect the best you don't become an icon without something so i i kind of feel like I kind of want to go for the big one. I don't know if we're going to be good. Oh, we actually got... Okay. I thought maybe we weren't, like, skilled enough or whatever. All right, Savannah, you're now represented by the best of the best. Well, suit to talent. We expect you to represent us as, a well, as well as we represent you. Get out there, work hard, and start earning those award nominations. Steal the spotlight and earn that cash or of which we get a fair share. One of our agents will call you shortly with auditions for roles benefiting someone your skill. Oh, okay. Um, on top of that, Salem just finished his book. Now, Salem has been writing kind of secretly. He started this book, The Apple of My Eye, when Cassie was pregnant. But when they lost the baby, he stopped writing this. And wanting a baby has been still on his mind. It's still something he really, really wants. But he's able to kind of push it to the side because he is also trying to get to the top of his career. So I feel... I think what I'll do is probably push this issue a little harder once he has level 10 because I do want him to become the best of the best. He's like such an awesome writer and it will be just amazing if he can get to the top of his career, right? How about a motivational? Oh, this is your screenplay. What if he wrote something so that I could act? That'd be cool. And quickly to Paolo. So Paolo is, um, wants to be a bodybuilder and he's almost, almost there. Uh, actually, he's not almost there. He has a lot to do. He's to push the limit, own two pieces of workout. I feel like Paolo is... Um, he's a lot... He's a... We'll just call it like that. No problem. I feel like he is a little younger than the rest. Yeah, he's not even an um, adult yet. So I think I would say he's like mid-25. Well, Savannah's like 31. Something like that. Um, so he's not as really focused on the top of his career he's just how about having fun partying going to work being a personal trainer things like that so i think for now this is kind of fine whatever he's doing just like living his life i i i think some people are just slower pace and who at 25 really has everything they want they, they are probably a little more serious about their work i mean salem and cassie both are really dead serious about their about their job but i feel like paulo considering he's not I'm not saying that his age really matters. I'm trying to say that personally, he doesn't really care about his job right now and about his life goals. He just wants to have fun because he's at that age where he just wants to have fun. While as Cassie, Salem were never like that. She was, Savannah absolutely was, but she has surpassed that um, now that she um, has become 30 and she really wants to, you know, get that big mention and shit like that. Drifting off from the point completely, but I just wanted to, wanted to share that. Cassie, however, is struggling real big time. She has been self-employed for... I don't know where she got all these rocks from, by the way, but whatever. <laughs> She's been self-employed for a while now, and this is something that she really wants to do. However, it's not paying her the best, and she fears that... She's going to be mooching off from others, and that is something she doesn't want whatsoever. So unfortunately, I think we're going to have to get her enrolled in another job. I'm not sure what kind of job, 
could be good for her. Um, Cause I don't think there's many jobs related to work uh, to working out to music. Um, but I do want her to get a job at this point. I just don't know if there's anything. There is an uh, entertaining career. Um, there's also a style influencer career, but I don't think Cassie would personally do that. However, what if by any chance Cassie took this job as a side job just to test it out, just to test the waters because she needed money, right? She needed money and that's why she became a style influencer. I can totally see her do something like this just for the money because she's very dedicated to things like that. Like She's really dedicated to work and I'm not saying necessarily that... Okay. I'm not necessarily saying that she wouldn't be good at this job. It's just not something she would love to do forever. But she's also the type that just gets opportunities as they come. And she's realizing that it's been a roughly a year since she's been here. Nothing has changed. I think it's about time that I, I start to have some sort of backup for now. Maybe I'll never get my dream true. I don't know. Regardless. Okay, that was a lot of talking. I am planning on getting them all. Um, first of all, let's check for a gig while we're at it. But... I want us to come and how about we all travel somewhere? Wouldn't that be cool? Travel somewhere? Perhaps we should take a vacation as well. That'd be even cooler. Maybe like when we're older, just like oh, it'd be cool. Anyway, um, so I am gonna bring Savannah, Salem, and Paolo. And perhaps we can go hmm. Let's go to a restaurant or something. I plopped a bunch, and not none of this one. Definitely not. Nope, none of that one either. They all look similar. They all look similar. <laughs> Perhaps here? Oh, yep. Okay. So, this is the same restaurant as we went last time. That is my own world. Hopefully my own save file. Which will be nice. And it's actually like a well-played one as well. Because all the characters that I use for my Let's Plays are actually keep in the same world. So, they kind of move on naturally when I also play with others. Which is kind of nice. It's kind of sweet. Oh, they're looking also. Oh, wow. They look it. Oh, land. They mm, looking like a snake. Okay. I mean, fancy. This, this place, I tell you, it's really small. It's really, really small. Uh, I need a place for four. I mean, I guess we... Okay, how about we just go over here then and request this table because at this point, I just feel like it's better. So I was going to sit here. Who is that? Is that Judy? Judy's always stealing my spotlight. Judy is having... What? Uh, I mean, I expect her to do like some posh dining, but she's not into posh dining for some reason. She's like, clean this up, please. Aww. Here's your table. Enjoy your meal. There is no food yet. Okay. Oh, God, they look so cute. Well, okay. Cassie's like, uh, do I really want to be here? I don't know. That's Cassie's face. Salem is, uh, Paolo is like, yeah. Savannah's boob look good in that dress. Savannah's like, hmm, I wonder how big my mansion will be. And Salem is like, damn, these prices make me sad. It's so expensive. Okay, anyway. I think she's going to order for everyone. No, she's not. Wait, what a minute, what a minute. I guess in the end, Savannah's like, I'll just do it. Babe, what do you want? Oh, I just want a piece of your boobs, okay. Thank you. We'll bring your order out as soon as it's ready. She's like, oh, hurry, 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 bitch. Okay, um, can we like get back into her seats? Where is, where, first of all, where am I? Whoa, okay, I just, my god, I could not stop myself. I'm like, oh my god, Santa Claus, is that you? I had to get a drink. And Sam is like, what are you doing there, girl? Come over here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna embrace him a little bit. Sam, come over here, come to the bar. And I, I'm like, oh, oh, they look so good together. Salem, it's not drinking time. Yeah, you're, I know you're hungry, and now we're gonna wait for the food. You know what? There's always something weird going on. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Is that, is that Dom? Wait, 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 wait. Th that's Don. Oh my god. Okay, so he's married now, right? But that totally used to be your ex. <laughs> oh my god. And now he's out with a celebrity. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. Poor Paolo. He's just like, sitting here by himself while everyone... Well, everyone else is just, oh my god. Anyway, um, come on, come on back. 
I think that's our food. <laughs> Yay, we got our food. Oh, Salem is impressed. He's like, wow. Wow, just just absolutely wow. Girls are toasting, they're having a good time. What, the only negative about um, her being a celeb is that she's kind of vain. And there was a way to undo that. I don't remember what it is, so I'm gonna look into that one of these days. But for now, just deal with it. Aww, they're looking like they have a good time. It's been so long since we've had a nice dinner together. I'm really happy about that. Seems like these beats taste amazing. Oh, and then maybe we have some drinks. It's definitely gonna be oh, it looks like she's all good now. Ah, <sighs> it's, it's definitely gonna be a late night. It looks like Salem has a headache. He's not really used to being around people. He's kind of socially awkward, as I keep saying. I mean, it doesn't mean like he's afraid to go out. It just means that sometimes he's okay with going out, and sometimes he feels a little overwhelmed. And in this case, he feels a little overwhelmed. It looks like everyone is kind of you know looking a little bit of flushed. Uh, I can imagine, you know. Oh, Cassie, you're really savoring the moment, right, aren't you? Definitely. Uh-oh. Cassie seems to be drunk. She can't handle her liquor whatsoever. Ah, oh, should have known. Look at Paolo's face. He's like, leave my girlfriend alone. Like, they're all recognizing. Oh, well, you don't even... Wait. You mean you don't like him? Ah, oh, Yeah, she's definitely a little drunk. Well, that's fine. Things happen when you're drunk. <laughs> Where's my cake? Where's my cake? Eating, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, paparazzi shows up. Oh my god, that is like stunning pregnancies. I know some of you guys just jump to conclusions and think, wow, drunkenness, loving, flirty. You know, that means that she's gonna get, you know, she's gonna get drunk and get pregnant. But no, that's definitely not it. Because Steph and Zavanna are both very responsible girls and they do not do planned, uh, they do, don't do unplanned pregnancy. Unlike the first time, which she accidentally got pregnant, but not anymore. She's not gonna get uh, accidentally pregnant again. That's not who she is. And definitely not what I want for this Let's Play. We're playing independent, powerful women that do not let their boyfriends hold them back there. Instead, they're helping each other to become better and, um, you know, we don't need babies this early in the relationship. Like, no, heck no. Heck no. Wow, it's only 1 a.m. and my cake is here, but you know, let's just cheat your uh, bladders just a bit because I know you're all hungry and shakes. Um, wow, that actually looks good. Of course, Savannah has to take a picture and uh, brag about her Instagram because that's what she's like. Oh, this looks so good. I'm not sure what it is. I mean, even Cassie seems kind of confused. Like, what is this? <sighs> but regardless, that was a really, 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 really successful night out. We're definitely all ready to go to bed. But, you know, what? let's end the, the night with, like, a whoop. A woohoo. Why not? Everyone is looking really, um, wow. Paolo looks like he hasn't slept in six years. Sam looks like he peed his pants. He's like, oh, did my fingers grow? And um, even Savannah, I guess, is really, really tired. But you know what? Let's just do a woohoo because we can, right? Let's let's get a woohoo in. And you know what would be even nicer? Uh, I'm just kind of... Wait, just one second. Why are we not able to get a baby with Paolo? Is that us? Wait, wait, wait. Is Paolo unable to get pregnant? Like, that will be something different. Unless they're not, cause like if I click this, it says trying for baby. And if I click this, oh, what if they're not able to get pregnant? Wow, that would be something else. Oh my god, you know, it'd be fun. One of the things that the girls really want is to get pregnant at the same time. Like that would be absolutely the the best thing. That would be just like friendship goals, right? Absolutely friendship goals. Hey, we were gonna do a woohoo. Where's my woohoo, bitch? Where's my woohoo? Uh, woohoo. There we go. <sighs> and I know that they probably have talked about having a baby and all of that, but you know what the thing is? 
Cassie doesn't want to stay home for the baby. She wants to work and she wants to have a career and she's afraid that having a baby will definitely take that career away from her and that she's going to have to stay home and, and, and do all these things she does in the world because she wants to work and work and work. Salem, on the other hand, really wants to uh, be a stay-at-home dad. Part of him really wants that as much as much as he would love to you know finish being a writer and stuff like that eventually what he could do is just write from home and just stay home you know he doesn't have to necessarily always always go to work salem i guess he can't really sleep he keeps thinking about a baby these days he really 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 wants them i think it's it's pretty much on his mind the entire time and i can understand you know he's like i i really want a baby i don't want to be like old when i have a baby well cassie just thinks about it a little differently whereas she thinks that a baby could hold her back uh, but part of me really wants a baby like i i can just see this baby happening but i'm going to have to be patient i'm going to have to be a little bit more patient because i don't think that they will have a baby in this house and if they do i mean i don't know can you see it happening a baby in this house Maybe a baby baby, but not a toddler. Like, it would not grow up whatsoever. Like, that would be it. Like, it would not grow up. Uh, I can totally see them having a baby baby eventually. I don't know. I just want them to have their own house and pregnancy and go out for dates and stuff. Like, not something like this. I don't know. I don't feel like this is, like, baby making situation. Salem, where the heck are you going? Get in bed with your girlfriend. Anyway, with your wife, actually. But um, yeah, that was all for this part. Do we actually end up looking for a gig? You know what? I'm going to look for a gig now because I want to. So let's go and have just a quick look, quick snoop in the gig. Paolo actually had... Oh, wow. It's already... Oh, let's... What pays out the best at this point? Yeah, let's get this. Why not? Uh, also, I just read that Paolo has to be at work. He is absolutely... T Why is he sleeping on the couch? Right. Okay. He probably farted in the next seven. I was like, ah, about it out of the house, bitch. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Bye!